This is a story. It's actually a coloring book that was created uh, by Tender Press Books. And we want to thank our friends at Tender Press Books for allowing us to share this beautiful book to promote the importance of addressing this crisis with children from a child's perspective, but which also helps us to understand what our kids are going through and relate that to what we are going through as well. I'll only read a few selected pages from the book and leave you in suspense so that maybe you can look it up and read it yourself. And it's available online and you've got the website on the screen there, tenderbrook, tenderpressbooks.com. This book will help set up the tone for this presentation. Thanks to the people at Tender Press Books from Zero to Thrive, from the University of Michigan and from Arizona State University who created it. So the book is entitled Georgie and the Green, the Giant Germ, created by Julie Ribaudo, Paige Safer, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the names, Sarah Stein, Kate Rosenblum, and it's illustrated by a 12-year-old Maja Rosenblum music. So thank you for sharing your book. So again, I'm gonna read just a few pages. Um, Georgie woke up excited to go to school. As he bounced down the stairs, his mom said, Georgie, no school today. A germ is going around that makes people sick. We have to stay home until the doctors make sure the germ is gone. When he went to the kitchen for breakfast, his mother said, Georgie, with this big germ, we're gonna need to be really careful to wash our hands before we eat. And when we come in from playing outside also, Georgie looked at his hands for a long time, but he couldn't see anything on them at all. This was all very confusing. Not going to school made Georgie feel sad at first. He missed his friends and Mrs. P, his teacher. Then he got to spend the whole first day with his mom and she even let him play some extra video games. But then he stayed home from school the whole week and the week after that too. And it started to feel like a really long time. He wasn't even allowed to play outside with the kids in the neighborhood. Everything felt different. Why can't I go back to school, he asked his mom. The germ is still out there, Georgie, she said. Every, everyone has to stay home until it's gone. Even though he still couldn't see the germ on his hands, the germ had started to feel really big, bigger than his house and bigger than his school. He wanted it to go away. As the days went by, Georgie had a lot of feelings. Sometimes he felt happy that he didn't have to go to school, but most of the time he was sad and mad and scared. Probably a lot of feelings that we're, we're going through, a lot of people are going through. I wanna see my friends, he cried. Why won't the germ just go away? His mom was acting grumpy. Stop complaining, she huffed in a loud voice. This made Georgie worried. What did I do wrong, he thought. His mom was busy a lot. She used to spend a lot of time reading to him, giving him hugs and helping him feel safe. But now she always seemed grouchy and told him, go play. I wish she was like she used to be, he thought. His tummy ached and he felt like crying. A lot of things that our kids are experiencing these days. And a lot of things that we're experiencing ourselves. So I'm going to skip a few pages. Again, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to go to this page. <clears throat> well, we... We are at home, this is mom talking, while we are at home, doctors and nurses and scientists are working hard to get rid of this germ. Georgie nodded, but he was still sad. I miss grandpa and Mrs. P and my friends at school. I know you miss them, Georgie, his mom said. It's okay to be sad and to talk about it with me. Since we are missing them, how about we let them know that we're thinking about them? I know they really miss you too. Georgie's stomach stopped hurting and he suddenly had a lot of energy. He jumped up excitedly. I'm gonna draw a picture of Mrs. P to show her when I go back to school. And off he ran to the crayon box. Georgie drew the doctors and his mom fighting the germ. And in his picture, his mom was so big and she almost filled the whole paper. So there's a couple of pages after that page, but I kind of, again, I'm kind of gonna leave you in suspense to uh, let you look up the book, find it and, and finish reading it yourself and to share it with others, of course. And again, our friends are at Tender Press really want this to go out and to share it with as many kids and families and people as you can. So 